We've, we've fueled those guys the right way. Um, I've asked them to be, you know, um, gentlemen and take care of themselves and get the proper rest and listen to the nutritionists. They don't like taking some of the things that they have to, um, but they are doing it. And um, But we're fine. I mean, we got to play the game. Is it, is it an issue? Absolutely. Um, you know, you, you're playing against a team who's only had to play a couple games, so it, it poses an issue. But that's what happens when you're the higher seed. Um, and we've done it the untraditional way. We're here. Uh, we're, we're a 10 seed, and um, that's where we want to be. We got a chance to, you know, obviously you, you tip it up, and any time you tip it up, you got a chance to be in the game. Okay, fourth row here. Adam Gacken with Orange Fizz, Casey and DJ. This is the first time that NC State's playing in the ACC championship since 2007. You guys were, you know, very young kids then. Has it kicked in yet? How special this run is? Uh, I'll start off. <clears throat> I don't think it's for me at least. It hasn't really settled in yet. Uh, you know, it's going to be a quick turnaround. So you know, definitely enjoy this one. Uh, but get ready for a tough matchup tomorrow. But uh, just for me personally, just to be able to come back to my hometown. And like Coach was just saying, uh, this hasn't been done in so long. Like you said, we were kids. So uh, to have the opportunity to be able to do this um, means a lot. Um, yeah, I agree with what DJ said. Uh, it hasn't really um, synced in yet just because um, it's kind of, the, you know, getting normal to kind of just looking forward to the next game. And we kind of created a routine. So, you know, just trying to embrace the moment as much as possible. But, uh, you know, also just focusing on um, the next game. OK, fourth row here. Coach David Glenn from the North Carolina Sports Network. It sounds impossible to go from losing seven of your last nine regular season games to having a chance to be the first team in the history of this league to win five games in five days. How have you made the impossible possible with your guys? You know, we've looked at every game. And uh, I think I told these guys we probably had 16 games that were one or two possession games. Now, what we've been able to do here at this tournament is limit our mistakes. Uh, and in and, and those games that we lost, I thought it wasn't so much what the other team did as what we didn't do. And, you know, it means a lot. I mean, you, you, you have to keep faith. And you got to believe as a team and, and, and guys have to listen, you know, to the coaches and, and understand that um, there are going to be some highs and lows throughout the season. But when you stick together and you play together, it's a, you know, we're in a um, team sport. And so, you know, if it was individuals, it'd be different. But we all need each other to be successful. And, you know, I've got 100% buy-in. And those guys are buying in and they're working. I'm coaching them, but they're doing all the heavy lifting. And, you know, the, the, um, all the credit goes to the guys in the locker room. I mean, they, they put us in this situation.